Good morning, precious saints. All right, today is the day that I am going to do the why Christians should not consume Kratom. So back in, I got saved April 28, 2020 to be exact. Um, and I was heavily addicted to alcohol since the age of 13. I started drinking at 13. Um, by 16, I had an alcohol problem, was in rehab, so I struggled with it for 17 years. And when I finally um, got delivered um, and that demon was gone, I was, no one told me that uh, after deliverance, you, you, you most of the time need healing. I was here, it was during COVID, so I was here at home and um, I was just staying in a lot of prayer, but I was looking for an alternative, like a natural alternative to something that would help me with like just energy. And we have to be very careful when we're looking for like natural, right? Because even sometimes marijuana will get uh, advertised as natural and all of that i mean that that would be like i'm gonna get off topic anyways if i go into that but the thing is that me and my husband we were looking for natural alternatives so we found kratom and kratom when you look for it it's a plant um but this plant they advertise it as um i think sis it's a sister or cousin plant to the coffee um bean um, so when we were doing our research, we found Kratom and it was advertised as organic. And of course, they're, they're never going to put the side effects to these things, but it was just a bunch of good things. It was good for energy, anxiety, depression. And I was going through what, what felt like a really heavy depression because I was just like, okay, this new journey of me staying sober, it's gonna be boring, I'm not gonna be fun anymore. And I had just got delivered from the Jezebel spirit, so I was like, I wonder if Jezebel was like the fun one, right? Super, like lies, I'm the fun one, Jezebel was just the controlling one, and anyways. <laughs> but yeah, um, so finally we found Kratom, which I ended up getting kind of addicted to um I consumed it I want to say for like about three months and man it felt it feels kratom feels pretty good and guys the blood is not in my hands if you guys go and and you know do your research about kratom and start using kratom because of what I'm saying that the blood's not in my hands it's it's very addictive it feels I want to say I've never tried uh heroin but I want to say it feels like um all those pills like Vicodin, Volume, Tramadol, all of those because um, I, of course I've had surgery so I, I know what those pills um, feel like. My husband uh, is a now delivered from heroin and popping pills and all that and he, he can testify that it, that it gives you a tranquility as um, heroin and all that. So they usually use Kratom actually for um, like for patients that are withdrawing from uh, heroin. So, I mean, it, it's an alternative. It's, I guess, a little safer than um, using heroin and all that, right? Anyways, um, since I am all over the place, I am just going to ask the Holy Spirit to come right now and take over. Thank you right now, Holy Spirit. I just, I ask that you would come right now and that you would just remove anything that is not of you holy spirit that you would remove any um any fear any any fear of men any um any doubt father any confusion i just ask that you would um plant all of the seeds in my mouth right now that you would bring your spirit of truth to these people anybody that is watching father i know that it's not a coincidence that they are watching my video father in the name of jesus i just ask that you would lose your 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 wisdom your revelation 
through my mouth that you would use me as your faithful servant to you i say here i am use me father as your faithful and wise servant holy spirit i just ask that you would consume with your fire 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 right now from the top of my head to the soles of my feet that you just feel me right now with your spirit of truth i allow you to consume in my mouth that you would loose my tongue with your truth right now in Jesus name so um so yeah so I was using it for about three months um, I used it I want to say uh, in the beginning I, in the first week I want to say I probably used it once a day but then I started kind of like liking the feeling of it so then I started using it like twice a day I even introduced it to my mom and my sister because I was like oh man this feels really good like I remember I would take it and then I would just be like ah oh, like every every problem was like ah oh, you know everything's gonna everything's gonna be okay or like my words to everything but if you really look at it that's demonic because I wasn't taking my even big problems or, or big problems or small problems I wasn't laying them down at my father's feet I thought that I had everything under control so that's why I want to tell you guys this is sorcery it is witchcraft your mind is being altered because my mind would tell me everything is okay when everything was not okay i was feeling depressed and i wasn't taking it to god i was taking it to this stupid supplement um but once i started um reading the word i started getting conviction i remember like the so even though i was using it like for three months pretty much daily um there was three times where i got heavily convicted and 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 for me like confirmation is three right father son holy spirit i love i love confirmation in threes the lord the lord knows not always in threes um sometimes i in one i'm like got it got it got it father but he knows that i i like confirmation in threes so after the third time i was like I told my husband, I was like, no, I, I can't, I can't consume them, consume this anymore. He was like, okay, maybe it's your personal conviction. I was like, okay, I'm going to run with it. But I was in the word and the Lord revealed to me in First um, Peter 5, 2, be sober, be vigilant because your adversary, the devil as a roaring lion walketh about seeking whom he may devour. So he was um, showing me that this is an open door guys like be sober be vigilant because the devil is just roaming he's roaming and just looking who he's going to devour are you going to be his next meal because he is literally just so we know that there's demonic spirits that the second realm is more real than the than the first and he's just waiting and waiting until we open up a door and don't get me don't get me wrong we are under grace but it's like you're rolling a dice it's like you're rolling a dice and the spirit of truth if you're baptized with the holy spirit lies inside of you so you can't lie to god and say oops i didn't know it was a sin because the lord if you don't know it's a sin the lord will softly convict you but you have to make sure that when he's convicting you that you are not grieving the holy spirit because this can harden your heart and then when he convicts you you're no longer going to feel that conviction why because you've grieved the holy spirit away and i mean not not he doesn't depart but you've grieved him to a point where he's like okay you got this and then that's when you know we if you give the devil an inch he will take a mile so you'll you'll get to the point in your life where it's like it was just kratom, but now I'm stealing, I'm smoking, I'm drinking. I'm. It, it's going to be, it's It's a little ladder of your, you're only getting one step of, oh, it's only kratom. And then, oh, I just said a bad word. And then, and then you're, you're like, what happened to me? Don't let that happen to you. Learn from my mistakes. I only pose these things. I'm, I'm about to be three years in and I'm, I'm talking about like when I barely got saved in April, um, you know, I was, a, I was a baby in Christ. I didn't know anything. I was still in milk. But you guys, we can grow a little bit faster from learning from other people's mistakes. If you really, truly want a relationship with God, take everything to prayer. 
you should not be consuming anything that alters your mind. It's not just marijuana. It's not just alcohol. I'm not saying that alcohol is bad, but I don't know many people that can have one beer, maybe even two. I don't know. To me, I, 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 I don't feel sober anymore with two beers. And I know myself, so I know that I can't just drink two beers. I'll probably backslide. But being sober means that your mind is not being altered. So if your mind is altered already, you're no longer sober. So you have pretty much opened up a door to the enemy. That is not a risk that I am willing to take. The the peace and the the peace that surpasses all understanding. It's like no other. I am addicted to that now. I am addicted to the presence of God. Um, right now, lately, the Lord has been waking me up at from 2-ish to 3-ish. Today, I woke up at 3-ish. No, today I woke up at 2-ish. Yesterday, I woke up at 3-ish. But I wake up and then I'm like, Lord, what time is it? And I'm like running downstairs to come and be in his presence. I didn't understand in the beginning why he was doing it. And I asked him and he said, because not a... Okay, so the witches and the warlocks are up at 2 and 3 a.m. Praying their witchcraft. And what about us? We got more power, more anointing. And we got a big God. Satan is just, he, he, is, he is the God of the now, of this earth. But our God reigns forever. We serve a mighty God. They don't. So we got to becoming, we got to become more, more bold and powerful than these witches and warlocks. I'm like, uh-uh. I'm coming downstairs, even though I'm all tired. I'm coming downstairs and I'm going to come worship you. I'm going to come praise you because you are worthy of my praise. So come on, guys. We got we to gotta get with it. Um, I hope that, 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 that this video, it doesn't convict. I mean, it, it, that it does convict you. It doesn't condemn you. I'm not here to condemn you. I am here to softly and lovingly convict you and tell you it is okay. You can get off of it. Um, it, it. It is hard. It's at least for my husband, it was a little bit harder to get off of it. For me, I was just relying on the Holy Spirit to get me through it because it was getting pretty addicting. Um, and some people will even withdraw. I didn't have any withdrawal. And I believe that that was all Holy Spirit that allowed me not to withdraw off of it because three months of taking it, like I said, the first week was like once a day, but then I would start taking it like two or three times a day. It's it's horrible search out the, the the side effects of it too it's pretty bad it's pretty bad but um y'all i love y'all and this is this is just me speaking in 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 love i i come to, i come before you naked like i'm not hiding anything take it to prayer the lord he is way better than alcohol to me he is way better than alcohol he has taught me how to drink in the spirit how to even get high off the most high. I mean, I, I, I say this jokingly when I say I'm going to make demons manifest. But seriously, you really can get high off the most high. You can get drunk in the spirit. But just be obedient and faithful. And he'll come through because everybody wants the anointing. But they don't want to pay, pay the price. So pay the price because it is so worthy. He is so worthy and it's so worth it. And in Jesus' name, I just pray that this video blesses you guys. I love y'all. Stay on fire for the Lord because he is he is coming soon. When? I don't know, but it look around you. He's coming soon. I love y'all.